Alright, so I heard that there was this rumor in town that there's a new mysterious trainer boss at the entrance of Saladon City that gives you a lot of Poke Dollars. Well, here he is. I actually battled him and beat him with this exact party, and he gave me like about 290,000 Poke Dollars, which is a ton. So I'm gonna try beating him again for you guys. <sighs> Hopefully, this will work. Here's my party. The basically the gist of this party is, this Deoxyze has to get the Zap Cannon off. If he doesn't get the Zap Cannon off, then basically lose the battle and I forfeit. The Zap Cannon is so crucial because it causes this paralysis move, which is the only way to beat this guy. This this guy only has uh, one Pokemon that doesn't, it's not even a Pokemon, it's like a futuristic generation overpowered Pokemon. Like, that's better than anything I've ever seen. It's not even an actual Pokemon. So you search it online, you cannot find it. This we see custom designed this Pokemon for this game. So it's, so it's basically really hard to do. So you have to get the Zap Cannon off, off of Deoxys A in order for my plan to work. I have Suicune and Raikou as tanks. Mewtwo as damage. Gengar as damage. And Shaman as damage. Alright, so that's, that's the plan. And if worse comes to worse... I still have like a maybe an RNG thunder to cause an extra paralysis, but that's highly unlikely. So basically, we're all hoping that to get win the coin flip on Deoxys A since Zapkin only has a 50% accuracy. Look at that 50% accuracy. <sighs> this requires a lot of RNG to beat this guy, but hopefully I can do it. Fight me. You've returned to fight me? Well, yeah, I already beat you once, so I'm, I'm gonna beat you again. You do not know who you are dealing with. I'll show you the true power of the Dusal. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. The entity attacks! Dusal Abraxas wants to battle. See, Aegis MK2. That, that, that Pokemon is simply broken. Ah, so this is my fourth attempt since I recorded the last clip of showing you where this Aegis MK2 is. I tried to beat him. For the first two times, my Zap Cannon didn't go off, and for the last time, my Zap Cannon went off, but this Aegis MK2 never got fully paralyzed, which means that he has time to use his OP move repair, which removes all negative stats effects applied to him, plus heals him back like 80% of his health. It's so OP, it's so broken. Luckily this Aegis isn't an actual Pokemon, but this time I got the paralysis off, and my Zap Cannon off. So maybe, maybe this Aegis FK2 can finally be fully paralyzed one time. I just need one time for the paralysis to do its job. Well, my shame and fate, I guess that's fine. So I'm going to be sending out this Raikou with another tank like Suicune. And hopefully this Raikou can kill this Aegis MK2. Come on, paralysis. Okay, so now, fully, fully paralyzed. Come on, full. Yeah! Okay, finally. Finally, that took way, way longer than it should have. Unbelievable. Okay, whew. So, for the, like I told you, for the first time, I beat this guy. I got 290,000 Poke Dollars. That's a ton. I think this guy has a range where he can give you zero, like a couple hundred Poke Dollars to a couple hundred thousand Poke Dollars, which is insane. Come on, I want 600,000 Poke Dollars out of this guy. Oh my gosh, just 40,250? Unbelievable. Well, even with that, I think guess this is still a good way of farming Poke Dollars if you can beat this guy consistently, since you have a pretty good chance of getting a couple hundred thousand Poke Dollars, which makes everything worth it. Well, good luck on your adventure at beating this guy, and hopefully you will get the dream of over 600,000 Poke Dollars.